Hello, right. So today on the beautiful, lovely gaming uh, mirrors, um, as you guys can kind of see, I have a new headset here. Um, it was kind of one of the gifts I got for Christmas. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk about Turtle Beach. I will probably do that in a later video. Um, we're gonna actually do Planet Zoo here. Um. We're actually going to go back to our franchise. Okay, I'm gonna see. I'm not gonna spend any conservation credits right now. Right now, because basically, um. So I don't know how well things are going to are going. So we got somebody's about to inbreed here. Okay, so the so the beetle. So the beetle has been empty. So our Goliath beetle has been empty for quite some time now. So... <sighs> so we have no animal storage here. Trade history. Um, we got a few... Okay, so let's go to Animal Market. Um, actually, an uh, exhibit. Okay, so we gotta fix their humidity here. That the we got the golden poison frog there. At the red tail thing there. And we basically, right now, we have two stages of Goliath frogs now, so. Uh, that's gonna help bring in more people in, I guess. But I feel like that we are gonna fail this pretty darn hard here.
Penix Research Power. Facilities, education, loans. So we could still take out this $50,000 in loan. But I'm going to repay those off right off the bat. Because to be honest with you... To be honest with you, we can still do this with loans, by the way. Another way. So let's go. Let's go to the exhibit trading. Um, let's look for. Um. Oh, that listing expired. Let's say yellow anaconda. I want to see... So let's see. So we got a yellow anaconda here. We now have a male. And a female. So we're going to send them... Visiting player alert. So, Neovision has is visiting. Okay. Okay. So, welfare here. Um. Let's go to about eighty three. I think that'll be okay. So Have that down to 30 degrees. The golden poison frog has now gotten a better... Okay, so we don't have a quarantine place right now. We got guest numbers, which is good. Inspector report. Okay. Staff vet research. Actually, we were on that. Let's go. Um. 
Um, we got a vet. I know that this is going to be something, um, worth. Worth a little bit of education for the vet. This is about to have an offspring, so that's good. I'm gonna hire a second vet. Just so that we can get more... Or so we can get more, um, stuff. 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 <laughs> so it'll definitely help with that. So, basically, so that's nice that we're getting people to come in. You know, these are an outdoor... An outdoor thing. But that was just because I was, like, in a franchise, we gotta really take into precautions on that stuff. So our Goliath frog has some got some research in. No, we need this one. So let's just get them a broken hollow log and a narrow hollow log for now. So if we do this, it adds that in the back. It's just in the back area. Okay, so let's work on... Now let's get in our quarantine thing. It's not on the... Can I move this? Let's demolish that. I want to do... Um, staff. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get some rain here. Uh, 
Okay, so they're fine with that. Are these guys fine with the rain? That's kind of why these guys got a little bit of an area back here for them, so they can have a little bit more cover. Cover if they need to get out of the rain and stuff. But they like it, so I'm not too worried. Um. So, what's the biggest thing that we are losing on money? Cash flow. Um, we are actually average. We've made about 2000 on average, but we are losing money. So, construction... Facilities, um, So just in case that decides to go out. So at least we will be able to have it. There, um, hold on. So, heat map. Well, welfare is not bad, but. Negative impact on guests. That does have a negative impact. But it's only, it's away from the, from people, so it's not going to have as much of a negative impact. Impact, anyway. So we're good there. So being, going green, I would rather go green than, you know. You know, having one of the, having two of those out. The Transformers there just as a backup. Right now. <laughs> Yellow Anaconda. Yellow Anaconda. Frog. Okay, so let's go into the staff. So the Goliath Frog now have gotten improved thing. We're still waiting on the yellow anaconda.
I'm gonna put contraceptive on one of the females, but I'm not gonna put it on the other one. Just so there's not too much of inbreeding. Okay, I wanna know. Facilities. And so we got a small thing. So let's maybe let's go to zoo. Um, animal trading, I guess. Um, Let's just reset everything. Okay. So let's go. Western African lion. So, what I want to do is let's go. Um. Let's go, let's filter that out. So the cheapest one is... Five ten. So, we don't got... So we can't do the African... West African lion. Um, do we got any other lions? Sorry, I, I... Black bear, cheetah... Hello, Anaconda's research. <laughs> so, Zoo Inspector. Need at least 800 guests in the zoo. So we can't get a cheetah. Um...
Let's see, do we got any... That's the only one. <laughs> okay, so Jaguar is out of the question because I don't have... A Burian Tiger, maybe. Nope, we can't do the Siberian Tiger either. Um, hold on. What are these guys? These guys are... Bongo. So, maybe we go to zoo? Animal trading. No, there's got to be a way to... Okay, so the bongo is on low welfare. So we're going to... Let's go into animal trading... Zoopedia, do these guys like to be with... Africa. No. Can we pause it? Zoopedia. Um. Inner species enrichment. Mongols benefit from sharing space with other species. So bongos don't. Don't. Do these guys benefit? The common warthog, I know.
Um, we could do African buffalo, um, giraffe, sable, antelope, springbok, common ostrich, and plains. We could do some z do. Let's look at the black wildebeests and let's see if we can um add more into it. Um, let's do the plain zebra and the black wildebeests as well. So let's look at those as well. So. Yeah, they're they're having a problem with them. So let's go. Let's take out the bongos. Let's look at the black wildebeests. Okay, we got we could put a black wildebeest in there, but I'm not going to fudge. I want to see if we got any better. Um, play. Let's clear out the black wildebeest. Let's look for the plains zebra. Okay, so this one, also the plains zebra. The common ostrich was another one. Um... Let's do African buffalo... Let's do the African buffalo, the giraffe, the antelope, and the springbok. So, let's look at the African buffalo here. Okay, Springbok. I'm not think I'm going to find what I'm looking for anyway. Okay, that one, so we got the female springbok, this one right here. Okay, so we got two here that we are... Oh, that's a female, not a male. A size gene, I'm not too worried about. So I think, well, I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna do this because we, um, the only other one, if we look at the Zoopedia for these guys. Um, we got the giraffe. 
and the sable antelope. So, so let's look at giraffe and antelope. Our final, our final look, lot looking at. So antelope. African buffalo. Oh, I don't know if we, we did. Um, a king penguin. Foghorn antelope, I believe. Oh no, it's a sable antelope. Antelope. Um, and the retailed giraffe. Giraffe. So let's do. Yeah, the reek tail giraffe doesn't start until way down there. And all we got are females here. So there is nothing that we will be able to fill in that one. So, um, animal trading. So let's go, let's pick something. Dolly sheep, clear. Um, let's do, let's do the red panda here. Nope, not doing red panda. Um, let me see. I know that we have a giant panda. And those side scenes are horrible. Okay. Um... Spent a little time looking. Okay, so we'll we'll get that one, I guess. It's not very good. And that one's still horrible because we don't have what I want. Uh, 
Okay, so where's the one that I actually... I know I hearted somebody. I don't remember. Well, there's some expensive, some really expensive stuff. Um, I'm wondering if the one that I favorited I wonder if the one that I favorited is gone. So that one, that one's there is good. Ooh, that one is actually, that one Springbok is really good. We're going to adopt that Springbok. And that one, size gene and longevity are not as great. But let's do only female. This has size gene is pretty good, but longevity, fertility, and immunity... And that one right there, but I don't really want to spend. This one might be the one we can't really release it. And so far, this one. Okay. So we're going to move into that habitat there. Move the bongo over there. And put the bongo So now these guys will have Now we'll have a couple of new animals in the play. Hey oh. So we got some new animals which have arrived now.
So that's just gonna help us get more... Okay, so let's go to, um, to zoo. Let's go to animals. So we got a lot of common warthogs. Warthogs. So... I want to release the ones that... Okay, why is that showing up? Oh, source. Um, we're gonna send a couple to release to the wild. Sadie, Kali, and Talawaga are re being released. I did not mean to release the bongo, though. So that means these guys are gonna need... So we need to find the bongos again. And clear out the spring box. Sorry, I am looking at my screen like way too much over here. Okay, the immunity gene, that's gonna ask for a risking... Okay, this bongo has low fertility. Um, that one has a longevity gene, really horrible longevity gene. So let's do... Finances, let's just take out the five thousand in loan. And go to animal market actually. Oh somebody already picked it up. Dang. Somebody saw that and I'm like, oh no. The size gene and the longevity gene here is not that great. Time ending the soonest is that one. Yeah, no. Dang. The wild. That's okay. I guess we'll dop you. I don't care, really.
Okay. So... That's the animal feeder. Um, cause that's the better baby. They're also good with what... They're also good, so... And... Adult population... I wish that we could get more of these in here. But, I don't know. We might have to start over, to be honest with you. And in order for me to do that, I have to have 100 conservation credits. Lease to the wild will claim that reward. Um, so candelads. Has died. So we lost an animal. Okay, so let's go. Ungo is about to mate. Okay, so let's go to animal. No rewards, but that's not what I'm here. Exhibital training. No. Zoo animals. Okay, these guys do not have a con- Does any animals have a contraceptive? And the Goliath frog does, but only one has a contraceptive. Just to help prevent things from going south. So the Goliath and the yellow anaconda have got researched. Um, let's... Um, you are currently... Let's just work on the Springbok for now. And then we'll work on the bongos next when... Book a plant for these guys.
The golden poison frog, we need to get more for them. Okay, um, today's probably, episode's probably going to be really boring. It's just saying hello, um, I'm probably going to leave that there for today, guys. Um, I'm kind of glad my power's still staying on, you know. My, con my con we had lost power for, for a few minutes today, but I just wanted to, um, let you guys know that I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, we got a new animal in the play. A couple of them. We got the anacondas in there. We lost all our beetles. Um, we'll probably have to... I'll probably have to come back and check up on things every day now. Rather that way. So we'll probably see you guys back tomorrow. Um, I will probably take Halo. Maybe I might just, just do Halo and just kind of... Do hello on the weekends to get you guys there. So and planet, I don't know. We'll have to. We have to figure something out because we lost all of my beetles, and I should have been checking them daily. Daily. So we did just receive that. We are getting more people in. Um, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll see you guys, um, tomorrow with more Planet Zoo, I guess, because, frankly, we're gonna try to do franchise, try to get this thing going on the ball, trying to make money and not lose money at all. So... So I want to drop this down. There. Okay, so Common Warthog is about to have offspring. Which is good, to be honest with you. We're doing pretty good right now. Um... The biggest thing is probably we need to, there's a lot of people lined up down here for, for that. So let's go, let's go to facilities. So all we got is Chief Beef. Um, we also got loony balloons, food. Basically, all we have is chief beef. So let's go to zoo here. Um, mechanics research. Um, let's do, let's get that going. Um, let's go down to staff here. We will just upgrade the mechanic for just so that we can get a lot quicker in some of the. So you got the research yellow anaconda and the springbok now have some, some new stuff. Um, the yellow anaconda 
is at three. Let's... Um, let's do the golden poison frog. Just get some of that done on it. Oh, I'm visiting my own zoo. <laughs> really? I must have been off viewing other people's zoos. Alright, so let's get it. I want to get... I know I said I was going to end it here, but I want to get one more animal in here. Um, so let's go to... Um, animal trading. I don't care what it is, just as long as we get something in here. Any species. Any age. And by price. Oh, a red puffed lemur. Immunity gene's pretty horrible, though. And fertility gene. So, we got the red puffered lemur. Um, we're gonna bookmark that. So we got the red puffed lemur. Let me, let's slow the... New filters. Arg. Maybe we go, maybe we go with the Indian peafowl. Let's, let's go with the Indian peafowl. We'll adopt, we'll adopt the Indian, we'll start with the Indian peafowl, I guess. So, it, um, so we do need, and so let's go to filter Indian to the Indian peafowl. Um, okay, so I know that animal storage, if we quickly go to animal storage, we got a female already for that. So we're going to need to research the only the male filter that. That one's a lot better. So is that one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one's pretty good. The Indian peafowl. That one's actually got like a lot better in terms of... That one's even better than the first one. So... We're going to adopt a that there. Let's look at their Zoopedia here. Least concerned. Okay, so they can't really... Um, male bachelor group size excluding juveniles is four. Group size excluding juveniles is four males and up to 16 females. So we can have... We can have a lot of Indian peafowls. Peafowls. So if we have some really good... Indian pea files like that one adopting and adopt we can adopt three male three male um let's see um I just wanted to see <clears throat> 
Okay, let's now let's go. Let's go. Let's adopt a couple of females here. Just get a little bit more. No females. Okay, so we can drop another let's adopt that I guess um, we can't adopt that female though we can't really adopt any because we only can adopt the seven now and that one I don't really want to adopt any of these either the seven one I would adopt it if it was I would adopt it if the genes weren't so good while well, there are others so we got ourselves an Indian pea fowl. So, so the Indian pea fowl, we're going to make this into a thing over here. So, but before, but we'll do that in the next episode. So if you guys want to see, see that, um, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Um, this is actually might be a two part episode. Um, you know what? Let's, you know, I was going to end it here. I think. I think I'm not. Let's just get. Let's just do it now. Um, so, so let's go. Barriers. Um, now the Indian peafowl. I think we could go well with a um. We could go well with the chain linked fence, but um. I think let's do let's do uh resistance grade Okay, what do the Indian P files um uh, if we go into the Zoopedia um Boundary requirement is grade one, so we could put these at grade one. So any any really anything's gonna work for them. So a glass thing or whatever is gonna work. So let's go habitat barriers actually. So a wooden gate. So a wooden gate, a wooden logs would work for them. Glasses. Bricks depreciated rate is going to be a lot less though. The hedge has zero depreciation rate, which Okay, let's go Let's put let's start by putting a little bit of a glass there and then we'll just go with red brick So we're going to put a glass thing there. I think. I'm going to move this out. Move this entire barrier. I'm 
I'm gonna move it back a little bit just so we have room for them to go out that way and it'll kind of like put more of those in but um okay so let's do we're gonna add is just And then we'll kind of put glass at these, at that area there. <clears throat> yes. I think that'll be okay, and then we can put the... And then we'll just put that back there for that. So I think we'll be okay. Um... Uh, let's go find our pathing now. Um, Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go for construction. Placing a little bit of some African lights around. Just for people to be able to see. Um, I'm going to put one over there. But what I need to do is to kind of and I just need to kind of hide the fact that that's unless hold on can we look at heat map Um, heat map is what I'm looking at. Okay, so that's not gonna hurt anything if just by leaving that there. So I don't, I think we'll be okay. Um, we actually do need pathing to... To be able to get to there, I guess. So let's work on getting, let's... Get the Indian peafowl in its place. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa.
No, cancel. Move. Okay. So let's move. Um, let's go. We're going to need a little bit of some. I don't know if it's under facilities. Their construction, actually. That's props. Utilities, guest. And then basically plays a little bit of extra stuff there. Cut. Okay, so Okay, so we need to fix this habitat immediately. So let's go. Let's go with. Um, we need to go with terrain painting. So we need more grass short. Okay, so Keeper cannot get in... Arrgh. It has way too much grass short. Um, but we are going to get some of that um, um, let's go back to terrain. Um, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a, some smaller, a little bit of some taller grass back here. A little bit. Um, it needs some soil. The soil, so let's just put a little bit of some soil down over here. Um, it does not require snow. It does require a little bit of sand. Sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the size and just kind of fill it in over here. Um, it does would like a little bit of rock though. So we'll kind of put a little... I'm going to put a little bit of rock there. And then I'm going to basically just put in a little bit of sand here. 
along the edge. Um, it would like more long grass. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the long grass mostly back here, away from... Um, it looked like, let's give him a little bit more rock. No. Um... Let's go, let's go with the... Let's just bring in a little bit more of that rock back here. Because I'd like to have at least 10% at least lost the board on everything. Okay, and then sand, soil, I'll put more sand along the outer edge of the rock area. I'm going to try to see if we can get 11% in here. And then we're going to go with rock and we're just going to ever so slightly just add a little bit of there. Soil. Light. Some soil. We're going to put a little bit of soil around the... I'm going to add a little bit more soil, though. Um... And then we need a little bit, I want to give a little bit more grass short. Um, let's go.
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the grass short there, and then I'm gonna put long, put longer grass. Just add a little bit of longer grass back in here. Let's go with a little bit more short grass there. And then we will just add a little bit more long grass right around there. I cannot please. Soil has still has 11%. So let's just go with. A little bit of soil. Um, we'll fill that in there, and then I'm gonna add on a little bit around here. All right, so we're doing pretty good here. Um, I want to see if I can add a little bit of soil down in here. Okay. So now that we have 11% um, on that soil, but that's okay. I think that's going to be good. Um, they really are like tropical grassland and temperate biomes. So if we go into nature, filters, biome. Temperate grassland and tropical. I'm going to take out the tropical though. And we're going to kind of put in a little bit of some rock back here. Kind of throw a little bit of rock in with there. Just to kind of come back here and put a little bit of a little bit of rock in their habitat, I guess. No gardening. Um, let's not go with such a large tree, I guess. Boa Boa, um, they don't have hard shelter. A couple of trees in there to give them some shade. And then we'll just throw a little bit of... A little bit of grass around the trees.
Okay. Okay, so now let's go to habitat. Um let's pause that. Let's go to filters species um the Indian peafowl. I'm going to go with the biggest one that we've got. Just have a little bit of hard shelter. to really make it look just to make it look more like they can still see them it's just not it's not as bad and then we can also put a bed kind of over here, I guess. Put a couple of beds staying down in here. But I think we'll be okay for bedding. Food and water. Um, let's go with a food bowl. Let's put a large food bowl there. Put a water pipe there, and then let's just put one kind of back there, but put a small food bowl there. Let's go with actually a small water bowl. So they've got a few things in there. Kids are underpriced. So I guess now we're going to go with seven and five. Okay, so the Springbok have gotten some research done. The golden poison frog has not. Okay, so let's go to finances. We're going to take all the loans out. And see about by putting in facilities. Um, A donation box. So now we should. Oh, we got more spring box on go godliness. So what we're going to do. Is we're gonna switch these two guys around. No, 
Okay, so Vet has not attended. Okay, Snow Keeper isn't available in route, so let's go down to Zoo. We're gonna have you stop the research for the time being. The time being. And then we need to... I don't care if that workshop has a long queue. Um, zoo, we need to look at, not, we need to look at staff. Um, I took the vet off for a little bit high work, so I tie insufficient. No work zones available. Um, work zones. Now we have tiny. Um, so tiny's place basically is now going to get added. No. Add that into the mix. So Tiny Place is now... So food shops have now got... We got a new food shop available for us. Anaconda welfare has attracted protesters. Oh, the yellow anaconda. Somebody must have died here. Spotted spine. They're both male. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take the contraceptive off you now. So what's this one then? That's the Goliath frog and that's also a Goliath frog. So why can't I move?
Young adult, can we? Cannot release cannot release this one to the wild. So food traps are being researched, I guess. Um, <laughs> and education reading to 15%. Um, okay, so what I'm needing to do is let's go to animal trading. Exhibit trading. <laughs> Quick trade the Goliath. Okay, so that's welfare's gone up a bit here. I don't know if we're going to be able to come back from this, to be honest with you. So, I will see you guys um, later. Um, if you guys want to see more. It's mostly social health. We're going to put you in there. I think having way too many male anacondas in there is going to... It's just going to help reduce that a little bit. So, we will come back tomorrow if you guys want, or um, come back later. I don't know. We might come back tomorrow. If not, um, it will be Halo. Halo. Some Halo Reach tomorrow, so if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Also, make sure you guys hit that bell notification with you all, so you can stay with all things gaming Metarox. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, before we do, let's call Mechanic here, these two. Alright, so we'll see you guys later. Bye!